Hey, Grand Rising and Bright Blessings to all of my petal patrons. It is the 24th of December, 2023. That makes today's universal energy frequency in numerology a seven day. And the sevens are beautiful energy because it means you are making those strong decisions for yourself. You have decided where things need to be in your awareness and you've made decisions, even though you may not have started to put the foot forward, it's very strong in your mind about where you are going and how you are going to get there. It's just about allowing yourself to feel in towards adaptability around family and friends these next couple days. Literally, that's what the heavens are showing. I'll talk about that in just a second um, so that you can push forward with your own personal strategy. Um, it's important to have the line drawn in the sand, but there's also the spiritual energy for today's seven energy and then tomorrow's energy on Christmas Day, the eight energy, the energy of abundance on Christmas Day, but also the energy of ever moving energy in and out. So let's look at the chart for today. I'll talk a little bit about the energy for tomorrow and a reminder that we have our last full moon of 2023 uh, showing up very early on Tuesday with Chiron going direct. So let's go ahead and take a look at all of these different things. So today we have, a, we had a total of, and I say had because we're already done with all of the transits. Technically 928 AM, we finished the main transit. So between midnight and 1228 on the other coast, we moved from the moon being in Taurus and now being into Gemini. And the moon moving into Gemini, again, is asking us to be flexible and adaptable. It's asking us to keep our minds sharp and be aware, but it's asking us to be flexible. And some of our families, when we get together, we need to have, a, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, <laughs> we do have a very interesting conversation that comes up then um, in a strong square here. So that's the red line that we're looking at here with that new um, transitional um, movement. But that square um, is asking you to be reminded of your personal um, responsibility and so can you be responsible for yourself and that adaptability that's really the big energy that comes with it can you handle being in someone else's um, energy right we all have those certain family members but whatever the case may be um, we the very last transit that takes place or the last energy burst that we got about 928 to 1228 was where the sun and Capricorn which is asking us also to be practical is having a beautiful second Tile. So honestly, the majority of all of the alignments, all of the conversations that are taking place today are harmonious in nature. Um, so hopefully you are feeling that for yourself and you can give yourself a little flexibility um, as you're dealing with the energy for today. Now tomorrow on Christmas Day, um, the few things that are going to shift because we're going to have a lot of the same things, but the few things that are going to shift is this energy where uh, this Venus in Scorpio a conversation that has been vexing a few people and irritating some things when it comes to relationships is going to pop out in a harmony tomorrow with this Neptune in Pisces, okay? And so that is going to show itself up. It will have some very interesting conversations with that moon in Gemini, those flexibilities that we have. Again, strong family member conversations. It could be coupled up your relationship, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your whoever it is that is making up your um conversation. It could be best friends. It could be other family members. So there's going to be a lot of emphasis on that. But these next couple of days, very specifically with the energy of um, Mercury that moved into Sagittarius yesterday, strong conversations, people wanting to chat. And yes, even though Mercury is still in retrograde, when it gets in here with Mars, it just sort of is like, mm -hmm, it's sort of sitting in here and it's going off of the wave that the strong energy of Mars in Sagittarius is bringing us. So there could be some very interesting conversations but again, these next couple of days are really asking you to be as flexible as you possibly can, be adaptable. But as far as your energy moving forward, when Chiron, which is this little KO that's right here, moves direct the following days, it's very introspective these, these next couple of days. So if you can think about it this way, <laughs> if you get that certain auntie or that certain uncle or that certain friend when you get together for holidays, or maybe you spend it by yourself, maybe you stay like our family, we stay home, we don't really travel anywhere. Um, you have the opportunity to realize I have moved so much anxiety out of my awareness here in 2023. Or if you didn't, 
you're at least aware of what that was um, and how you can take action and use these magic of the next couple of days to actually transform that for yourself. How can I create? How can I get myself prepared to release any of those attachments, those people, those places, those things, those ideas? If it's not serving me, if it didn't help me this year, do you really want to bring it into the next year? No, you don't. Um, if you don't have a caring relationship, care for yourself. Put time, energy, and patience into yourself. And for those of you that have gotten forward, even though the seven energy is having drawn that line in the sands, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't have to make all of the decisions tomorrow. You don't have to make all of the decisions even within the next couple of days, but it's all about strategy and how you want to move yourself forward, even if it's a little increment at a time. So I'm so excited to talk to many of you guys coming up here within the next several days um, because most of you guys I know have worked really, really strong. I'm talking to my pedal patrons, those are the individuals that have been with me for a long time, um, have purchased my services um, and are my friends in the long run trying to help you move from one place to another. 2024 for a lot of people is going to be extremely fabulous, but it's always going to require you putting your time, energy, and effort into those things that are most important for you. So my general message for all of us here for these next couple of days is to be as flexible with other people as you possibly can, but please make sure you're being flexible with yourself. If you didn't get everything that you wanted um, out of this particular season, you are in control. The many people out there that are willing to assist you. I'm there. If you are interested in any of my services, Pedal Patrons, I've got the 2024 offerings completed on the website, including bundle packages and weekend classes that we're going to start to get into along with a, with a lot of different healing. So just shove on over to the shop. Take a look at the description box below, the link above. And for those of you guys that know, you know, <laughs> many blessings, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is that you celebrate within your pantheon. I hope that you have a beautiful next couple of days and I will see you guys soon. Bye.